Hi everybody, it's Lisa again. In this hour, we are going to be doing an English writing practice class. So if you are interested in improving your writing skills, this is a good class for you. Um, oh, there that goes again. That's always something that you need to remember, which I often forget, which is to close the verb link window when you open the Google Hangout. So when you come into the Google Hangout, it's a good idea to close your verbling window because as you have probably figured out by now, uh, verbling is recording all of these Google Hangouts and they're put up on the site later as recorded classes. So if you ever want to come to verbling and you have some extra time and you want to uh, look to see if a teacher has done a specific lesson, a type of a lesson, you can go to the recorded classes section of the website and you'll be able to watch videos but in the meantime they're streaming live so right now this is live it's nine a little bit after nine p.m. pacific time I am in Washington state which is in the pacific time zone and we just uh, changed today we had daylight savings time so we put our clocks ahead one hour so right now it's nine p.m. Uh, Pacific time and so if you want to join this class all you have to do is click on the green join class button and it will be available soon the first two minutes of the class are for reservations so if you are a premium member of Verbling you can come into the class uh, and make sure that you're here before everybody else starts clicking the button so um, hi there job how are you Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes, can you hear me? Hi. Yeah, I can yeah, hear you. I'm good. And you? Good. Yeah. So, <laughs> a bit nice being here. Where, where are you, Jab? I, I'm from Thailand. Okay. Wonderful. Welcome to class. Yeah. We're going to be doing a writing Thank class you. this hour. Okay? Yes. All right. Okay, great. All right, so everybody's coming into class. And we're going to get started here in just a minute. I'll be using the Verbling chat. And if anybody can't see the Verbling chat, uh, let me know because I can post things in the uh, Google chat as well. So this is, uh, let's see here, I'm going to put up the document. And I'm going to explain how this class is going to work because it looks like we have some new people. So here we go. Everybody go to your Verbling uh, chat and click on the link. I will also put it in the Google chat. Okay. And this is how it works. Um, I'm going to put in the screen share here. And I'm going to copy and save just so we make sure. Okay, so if you want to participate in the writing class, all you have to do is write. And I'm going to try again to let everybody participate who wants to because I know there are some um, uh, frequent verbling students who did not get into the class and so they can also write. And this is how it works. Uh, you have the document here, and you, everybody probably has opened it by now. There's 14, 15 people opening it. You go down, and you just choose a writing prompt or a question. I will go over them first. Number one says, tell a short story about this guy who is milking the cow. Who is he? Where does he live? How old is he? Why is he milking a cow? So you just tell the story. Make up a little story about that guy. If you want to work on that one, you can go ahead and get started. Hello. I'm just, uh, all right. If you're going to get started, you start down here and you write your name. So if I'm going to get started, I am going to write my name. And then I might want to change the color and then start uh, writing my answer right here. Okay? So make sure you put your name and then start writing okay all right so the next one is you can see this uh, picture of this guy and they're in a what's called an Iditarod race 
with these uh, with these dogs. Maybe you've heard about it. They do it up in Alaska and other places also. So it says, uh, Maria, this one might be interesting for you. I said, write a news report about what is happening in the Iditarod race. Who is in the lead? What is the temperature like? What has happened during the race so far? You have to make it up. This is just being creative. You can make up a story about it and tell us the story. Number three is, tell me the plot to a recent movie which you have seen. So maybe you just recently saw uh, some movie that you liked, and you can just tell me what it was about. So that's a simple one there. Number four is, describe your dream job. And when in your description, tell us where would you work, what would you do, and how many hours per day would you work, etc. So all those different types of things you would explain to us. Number five is, what is your favorite time of day? Explain. Do you like to be up early in the morning? Do you like the afternoons? Do you like to stay up late at night? Okay, just tell us, what is your favorite time of day? Number six is, tell me a story about your childhood. Choose one thing and explain what happened. So you can tell me something that happened in your childhood. All right, down here is a TOEFL exam question. So if some people who are practicing for essays, um, you can try this. You have to, di you agree or disagree with the following statement. It is better to have kids while you are young. So that's the statement and you have to agree or disagree. Now I gave you some examples here of some introductory phrases that you could use when you start in your introduction here. Um, and a TOEFL essay should have an introduction and then it should have three supporting paragraphs where you talk about your first reason, your second reason, your third reason, and you should give examples and details about each of those reasons. And then conclusion. So you're, you're finishing up your essay by saying in conclusion or therefore or that is why I think and you have another little paragraph there. So everybody can get started. Um, if you have any questions at any time you just ask me. I see that Maria uh, Jose is getting started, Camilo started, Ismael, uh, everybody can just get started. And please, please, please only pick a place on the paper and write the answer. Do not uh, go and grab other people's writing. Do not erase other people's writing. Just work on your own answers. Um, people are working very hard here. They're thinking and concentrating. And it takes work to be able to come up with these answers to these questions in English. And so I want to make sure that everybody takes caution to not um, write over anybody else's work. If you need more space, all you have to do is put your cursor there and push return, and then that'll move everything down. So sometimes when you're writing, sometimes things will be moved down. So just be aware of that. So I want to just check in with everybody and make sure you know how to um, do this. Okay, let's see. Alessandro, do you have any questions? Hello, Lisa. Hi, Alessandro. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm thinking, uh, I'm choosing one of the arguments to start. Okay. And I found all of the arguments uh, pretty interesting. So okay. I'm just making my mind one to choose and start to write it. So. Okay, great. I'm just checking to make sure. So it sounds like you know what to do. And Camilo, you already started. Thank you. And Eric, I think you know how to do this, right? So you're probably just thinking. Think your microphone. I am the right teacher. I am the right perspective. Okay. And Facundo, you know what to do. And Ishmael and Job, you already got started. Maria and Maria Samara, you know what to do, I believe. Teacher, I have a question. Sure. What's your question? Uh, in the second point, says <laughs> write a new write a news report about what is happening in the irradiator race. Yes. What irradiator means? 
Okay, so I did a rod race. That is, um, that's what you call this kind of a race. You see where there's people and then there's like a sled and then the dogs are pulling the sled? That's I did a rod race. It's the name of this dog race. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. So you can. Thank you. Uh huh. You're welcome. And Tan, I know you know what to do. So it looks like everybody is going to get started. Takes a little bit to think. A little bit of time to think. Good morning, Lisa. Hi. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, I was wondering if you were going to wake up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I uh, set my alarm bell. So. Did you, uh, did you put your that, phone on the floor or but next to your bed? <laughs> uh, on the table next to my bed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah too okay. too close. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but this Ida Road. I did a rod. Yeah, I did a rod. Is that is that a city or a place? Ida Road or? Uh, is that no, that's of? just the name of the race. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what they call. I'll look it up. Um, it's happening right now, actually. I think in uh, let's see, Alaska. From Anchorage to Nome. Where is that Anchorage? Is that in Alaska or Alaska. something? Alaska. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, this okay. is taking place in. Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> I have to do some research here before <laughs> I start writing because I've never heard about it. Yeah. Before. So here, mm -hmm. there's a link to uh, uh, an article right there. If somebody wants, if you want to go to that. It looks like they are standing on the sledge. Yes, Are they, they it's a standing stand on the sled. Uh huh. Yep. Uh -huh. They okay. stand, and yeah, and they're trying. So it's a race. Um, yeah, how many miles is it? Two hundred fifty miles to go. So it's a very long race. I'm not sure how long it is, and every day they just get up and uh, they go. Here, I'll put it in the screen share if I can here. So. If if you don't care about the Iditarod, that's fine. You can uh, be writing. I'm just uh, yeah. I will make here. something up. We're just talking <laughs> about this a little bit. <laughs> um, so yeah. So uh, this is a little bit uh, like this is an example of what uh, you could write. Of course, of course, I just said to make it up, so it doesn't. Mm -hmm. But it's basically it's very long. It's very hard. The dogs get tired. They have to feed the dogs every day. Of course, the weather might. Um, get nasty and you know it might snow so they just have to go through all these different um, challenges yes. and that's the kind of race so there's lots of different uh, contestants or racers um, they have to give snacks to their dog uh, they check in they have checkpoints things like that they sleep mm -hmm. like you know wow. so it's kind of a an endurance kind of thing, like testing uh, your endurance and the dog. They are trained. They are trained for a certain. Yes, the dogs train and the people train. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Lisa. Uh huh. This is the smile. I'm ready for the first one. Okay. Let me get back over here. First one. Okay. Go ahead and read. Okay, I'm very happy today. I have a seal from my friend Tony. He's a friend I met when I was at high school. He lives in Quito, just like me. But every year he goes to his uncle's farm in Rivera City. My friend's uncle is a farmer and he has cows also. No, cows also. Mm -hmm. My friend who is 20 years, 28 years old, went to be a veterinarian because he loves animals in general and he likes to take care of them. In this picture I can see how lovely he is with cows. In rewarding, his uncle gives him some money or some products of the farm. Okay, good. Um, okay, let's see. I'm very happy today. I've received a new picture from my friend Tony. He's a friend I met when I was, um, we usually we say in high school. When we talk about something that you know happened when we were going to high school, when we were in high school, he lives in Quito just like uh -huh. me. But every year he goes to his uncle's home in Rio Obama City. My friend's uncle is a farmer and he has cows also. My friend, uh, I would put a comma there, who is 28 years old, uh, want, wants 
to be a veterinarian because he loves animals in general and he likes to take care of them. In this picture, I can see how, I would say how loving he is with cows. In, um, um, let's see, his uncle, in rewarding, let's see, I wouldn't really be for a reward. Reward is more like if you win, win something, it's more for, um, Let's see, another way to say that would be, you could say, um, you could say as a uh -huh. thank you or as compensation, something like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. I understand it, yeah. Uh-huh. As compensation, his uncle gives him some money or some products um, from, from the farm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Good. Nice. Thank you so much. You're Lisa. welcome. Okay, so, again, if I... I'm going to highlight the ones that I've already uh, corrected and put them in, um, uh, I guess I'll put them in this, whoops, I don't want to do that. Just put them in dark blue, I guess. Okay. Okay, is anybody else ready? So when, when you have finished uh, writing, just let me know, and then I'll have you read out loud what you wrote, and then um, I will make corrections. So... Jab, are you ready? I think your microphone is muted. You have to uh, go unmute your, yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, this is Michael. He is 27 years old. He lives in a small town in the northern part of Thailand where his farm is located. There are 10 cows in his farm and today he has to milk because he there is an order from his client who will pick up the milk in the afternoon. Okay, good. All right, this is Michael. He is 27 years old. He lives in a small town in the northern part of Thailand where his farm is located. There are 10 cows with a O oh, um, on his, I would say, on his farm. And today, we could say, and today... He has to milk because um, because there is an order from his client who will pick up the milk in the afternoon. Okay, good. Okay, now you can go and pick another one and work on number two or number three, whatever one. Okay, Jeff? Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, Maria Jose, I'll read yours. Um, his name is Andres, period. He lives with um, his parents on on a farm near San Gil. They have a big farm with a big with I would say a lot of cattle, 50 pigs and 300 cows. Uh, they are very famous in their town due to um, having a lot of natives working. For them, um, spider Andres. Uh, okay, you could say despite the fact that Andres is studying at university, comma he loves to come back to his farm on vacation. Uh, this time, he has to feed the animals every day and to milk the cows too. He has he has his favorite cow. Okay, his, I would just say his favorite cow is named Margarita. Period. She is the first one milked by him. Um, um, I would say this. She is the first one that he milks. She also has a little calf. He is not a common guy. Uh, but I would say a, a, an, an ordinary guy. <laughs> he's not. He is not an ordinary guy. Uh, when he was a child, he received a cow as a pet instead of instead of a dog or a cat, um, which are more common pets for children. Additionally, he sings to his animals when he is sad. <laughs> it is. It is his way to get the bad feelings out, um, we can say feelings off of his chest. Okay, good. 
Okay, anybody else ready to go? Camilo, are you ready? Camilo, do you want to read your answer to the first one? Teacher, do you hear me? No, now I do. <laughs> yeah. Teacher? Yes, I hear you. Do you hear me? I can hear you, Camilo. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, go ahead. Do you want to read your um, paragraph? Camilo, do you want to read your paragraph? Please reply to the teacher's question. <laughs> I don't know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, does anybody want to read anything? Or are you still writing? He's working on another one. Okay. Okay, Carla. Okay, Carla's not in here. Okay, Carla, I'm going to do yours. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yes. I can hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. It was very quiet. Yeah, okay. I just muted some background noise. Oh, okay, okay. No problem. <laughs> Carla, okay, it depends on what you are referring to. Um, uh, let's see. To do exercises, comma, the best time of day is the morning from 5 a.m. Um, until 7.30 a.m. because the sun is shining, but not with intensity. Okay. Jab, do you want to read? It's still working. Okay. Hi, Lisa. I can join. Woohoo. Oh, good. <laughs> Are you going to go for the essay one? Maria Jose? Yeah, I'm, I, I am writing the tough one. I think that I can't. Okay, good. The essay one, yeah. Okay. Lisa, what is the, what do you call those people that sit uh, or stand on the sledge? Are they sledge uh, <laughs> yeah, <fairers? what? laughs> Let's what see, is what, what is, I don't know. <laughs> what, let's see okay. what they call. I mean, uh, you could just say the contestant or the, yeah, let's see. So Let me see if it okay. says it in this one. Sled I have it. a name for that in Swedish, but I cannot yeah. translate it. Sledge keepers, no, not keepers. 
sledge drivers. No. Yeah, the driver. Yeah. Okay. That's what I would call That's it. Probably the driver. Yes. Can I read? Oh, uh, mushers. That's what you call them. Mushers. Uh, Maria. Yeah, hold on. Sorry, mushers. Yeah, they're called mushers. Here's another. M U article. article. M U S H E R S. Yeah. Mushers. H C. No. M U M U M U S. I read it there. A S S H. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, exactly. What we call it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sir. yes. Okay, Ismail. Yes. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay. Go ahead. Welcome again. Today we're having the best race ever seen. At the beginning, the competition was really hard for all the teams. Even though Thunder team is going ahead in the last four minutes, the weather let us experience an exciting racing at the end of the championship. It's uh, <laughs> 80 uh -huh. degrees. I don't know how to say under zero, minus zero. I don't know. Minus zero. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, okay. Unfortunately, Canadian team had to leave the contest in the lap number 14 because one of the dogs suffered a break. No, a broken. Mm -hmm. No, no, a break. It's cool. A break is like yeah, <laughs> you can do like, <laughs> Welcome up. Welcome up in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, welcome again. Today we're having the best race uh, I would say we've ever seen. At the <clears throat> beginning, uh, comma, the competition was really hard for all the teams, even though Thunder Team is going ahead in the last four minutes. I would say even so, um, the Thunder Team is going ahead, I would say has, has gone ahead has gone mm -hmm. ahead in the last four minutes. The weather um, let us experience an exciting race at the end of the championship. It's minus, yeah, I would say, well, you could say it's 18 degrees minus zero. Um, unfortunately, the Canadian team had to leave the contest on, I would say, on, on lap number 14 because one of the dogs suffered a break in his leg. We'll come. You mean we'll come back? Is that oh, what yep. you meant? Okay. Yeah, we'll come back in ten minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Those dogs, they get, they get really worked. Sometimes they get sick or they break their leg or something, but they're working hard. Okay. Thank you, Alyssa. You're welcome. Okay, Jeb, are you ready to read? I think your microphone got muted. There was some background noise, so unmute. Yeah, okay. Number five? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I have one. Yeah. Uh, my, my favorite time of the day is the night time. Can say can say one a in two three p.m. I like it because it is very quiet and calm. So it is for me to study or do my work during that time. But for doing this, I have to get some rest very early. Okay, so my favorite time of the day is the night time, and I would just say say one a.m. one a.m. to to three a.m. Uh huh. I like it because it is very quiet and calm, uh, comma. So it is good for me to study or do my work during that time. But I would say, uh, but to do this, to do this, comma, I have to get some rest very early. <laughs> yes. <laughs> are you are you working now or where are you now? Pardon? Where are you now? Are you working now or? I'm at work now. Uh huh. 
Crazy day yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> what time is it in Thailand? Uh, it's now 11.30. 11.30. Oh, when do you have lunch? At 12. <laughs> At 12, okay. Yeah. Almost lunch time. Yes. It's your car, so I can't go for lunch. Uh huh. Cool. Okay. All right. Tamila, do you want to read yours? Oh, where'd Camilo go? Eric's here. Camilo dropped out. Okay, Camilo. Okay, the guy is 25 years old and also he's from Nicaragua and lives in Trunks. Okay, each morning he goes to the best cow and begins to milk it because he likes a lot to drink. <laughs> he likes to drink the milk a lot. Later on, he brings some for his family. He brings some more milk for his family and shares it with them. By the way, his name is Jaime, and he is the firstborn of his family. Period. He used to go with his father to do the same about what he's making him. He used to go with his father to do the same. He enjoys to drink and eat cheese. <laughs> okay. Okay, Maria Tamara, do you want to read? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Um wait. Um, um Good morning viewers. Today we are in Alaska. As we can see today is the international uh, I forgot day. Today is the international day of racing in the snow. Uh huh. Thank you. Today we are interview our first participant. His name is Jackson and he's from Canada. He come because he loves this racing. He has been added with seven dogs. The dogs very resistant to support his wife. Wait, yeah. Wife. The temperature is very low and therefore be protected from cold using jackets, gloves, but and hand. This uh -huh. event is called e the Rachel Race. Uh-huh. I did a rod. <laughs> I did a rod? Yeah, I did a rod. I did a rod. Okay, okay good. thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Good morning, viewers. Uh, I would just say that like that, exclamation point. Today we are in Alaska. As we can see, uh, today is the International Day of Racing in the Snow. <laughs> Uh, today we interview our first participant. Uh, his his name is Jackson, and he's from Canada. He came because he loves this uh, race. He has been uh, allied. Let's see. He has been, I would say, working with seven dogs who are very resistant to support his weight. Uh, the temperature is very low, and therefore. Uh, Let's see, one must be protected from cold using jackets, gloves, boots, and hats. This event is called this event is called the Iditarod Race. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> did, you, did you want to work on another one?
Camilo, ladies and gentlemen, now we have the race of the season. Hit is the new of this awesome day. <laughs> Let's just say on this awesome Future day. When you are ready and ready for you. Correction. Okay, where are you? Eric, let's see. Did you write your name, Eric? There you go. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let me get it on a page. Okay, go ahead. Okay. From from my part, first, when you are young, you do not have the money for the pay the bill and feed your kids properly. Second, having a kid is a commitment for the rest of your life. And you are young, you do not have enough experience and commitment for that kind of obligation. For tonight. Mm -hmm. Dear, if you do if you don't have money or experience, you are creating a criminal or even worse, you are condemning your children a life of misery and poverty. We need to choose the right moment for bring our bring bringing oh, mm -hmm. my life for bring our children at this world. If you want children to love one life better than you, and you could give them the right support and guidance in his growing up. In this world. Okay, good. All right. So, from my perspective, I disagree with. I would say instead of that, I would say this statement, period. First, uh, when you are young, comma, you do not have enough money to, okay. to pay the bills and okay. feed your kids properly. Second, okay. having a kid is a commitment for the rest of your life, and when you are young, uh, comma, you do not have enough experience and commitment for that kind of obligation. Third, if you do not have money or experience, you are creating a criminal or even worse, you, you are um, condemning, uh, condemning your children to a life of misery and poverty. We need to choose the right moment for bringing our children into this world, period. If you want your children uh, to, to, let's see, let's see, if you want your children to have, to have, to, to have a better life than you, uh, comma, you need uh, to give wow. them the right support and guidance okay. in, uh, let's see, while growing up in this world. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank yeah. you, teacher. You're very welcome. Okay, so that one... Is anybody else ready to read any of theirs? Lisa, I can read. Facundo. Okay. 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 From my point of view, I think that it's better to have kids while you still are young. The reason, even if these are obviously, are the next. First, I agree with the idea of being of being a young father because when you are an older father you can't enjoy of your sons or daughter or daughter when they will be bigger. For example, a father who is forty five years old will have sixty years when his son shall have fifteen years. The difference between the age of the father and the son is important because if it different is very wide they will cannot enjoy of the same activities like go fishing, traveling, etc. 
On the, on the other hand, in other activities, the relationship between son and father don't change even if the difference between their age is wide. Secondly, in the case of the mother, have kids when she's older is dangerous for the health of the woman as the little baby when it's when it borns. Just if the woman has kids along the age of twenty uh, along the age of twenty and thirty years can give birth in a more safe way. In conclusion, be a young father or mother is better not only because you can enjoy more of the raising of your child, but because it's safer than giving birth when you're older. The life expectancy is higher in a young woman. Okay. All right. So from my point of view, I think that it is it is better to have kids while you are still young. The reasons, even if they are obvious, obvious, are, and we would say the following. Okay. For, oops. First, I agree with the idea of being a young father because when you are an older father, you can't enjoy uh, your son or daughter uh, when they, we would say, um, get older. Oops. When they, uh, hold on. Okay, it's not working. Hmm. Hold on, I gotta refresh my page. Okay. <laughs> it stopped working for me. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. When, uh, when they get older. Uh, for example, a father who is 45 years old will have 60, will be, will be 60 years old when his son is just 15 years old. The difference between the age of of the father and the son um, is important because um, because if the difference is very wide, they will not enjoy. Um, there we go. Um, enjoy. <laughs> it keeps moving down. Okay, they will not enjoy the same activities. Okay, like going fishing, traveling, etc. On the other hand. In other activities, the relationship between son and father doesn't change even if the difference between their age is wide. Secondly, in the case of the mother, having kids when she is older is dangerous for her, I would say her health um, as a woman and, and also uh, for the little baby when it is born. Thus, uh, if the woman has kids, um, we would say around the age of 20 uh, or 30 years, we could just put 20 or 30, uh, she can give birth in a safer way. In conclusion, being a young father or mother is better not only because you can enjoy more um, of the raising of your children, but because it is safer than giving birth when you are older. The life expectancy is higher in younger um, women. Lisa, okay. can I yeah. read my... Thank you, Lisa. Uh-huh. You're welcome. Yes. Ready, Jose. Okay. Okay. It's my first time in TOEFL questions, so <laughs> okay. I hope you enjoy it. In my, opinion, <laughs> okay. in my opinion, having kids when you are young depends on living conditions. If you are a stable, if you have a stable environment to raise children, then you can give you can give the ne next step. But I think there are a lot of things that you have to define before you have children. For example, the job stability is very important according to have the no economical resources to bring to your kids all the things that they will need to grow up properly. However, you can spend a lot of time taking this decision because there is a certain age period which is appropriate for having kids. It is about 28 
to 35 years. After it, women can have some problems to get pregnant due to her bodies are getting old to the good fetus develop. Additionally, children need a good emotional atmosphere. Is if the parents are in in measure and don't have a healthy relationship, having children is bad. Even though the mother wants to have a children, a children, a child. I think I think the kid deserves to have a complete and lovely family. The mother and the father must be aware to inculcate to inculcate good values since they are babies because children imitate all the things and behaviors that they see when they are growing up. Finally, I have the, if I have the chance, I will have my children younger, but before, before it, I must have a good job and have developed my relationship appropriately. Okay, okay. All right, in my opinion, having kids when you are young depends um, on living conditions. Period. Uh, if you have a stable environment, uh, I would say, in which to raise children, comma, then you can uh, give the next, you can take, we say, take, take the next step. Period. But I think there are a lot of things that you have to define before. Uh, I can say before it? Yeah, you can say before you have children. But I would say not define. I I think I would use more um, the the phrasal verb uh, to figure, figure out. out? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, the job stability. Um, I would say job stability is very important um, in order to have enough economic resources to bring your kids all the things that they will need to grow up properly. However, you can't spend a lot of time uh, taking this decision because there is a certain age period uh, in which in which it is appropriate uh, to have kids. I would say to have to have kids. Um, semicolon. It is about 25 to 35 years of age. After that, we would say. After that, so after that time period, women can have some problems uh, getting pregnant due to her body. Um, we could just say their body, women, their bodies uh, getting older, and it isn't. And and we can say and um, there may be some. Uh, it. Uh, let's see there. Problems? Yeah, or and it might not be uh, good for the fetus, or we could say the fetal development. Okay. Okay. Um, additionally, new paragraph. Children need a good emotional atmosphere. Um, if the parents are immature and don't have a healthy relationship, comma having children is bad even though the mother wants to have children. I think the kid deserves to have a complete and love, lovely, I would say loving, family, uh, period. The mother and the father must be aware to inculcate good values uh, since... Uh, Baby, no, it's like when they are very child. I don't know the... Yeah, when they're very young. The mother yeah, and the father must be aware to... Uh, that I would say they must be aware that they uh, will be <laughs> inculcating or modeling. Um, uh, let's see, the mother and father must be aware that they will, let's, we could say, need to inculcate <laughs> good values since uh, um, when they, let's see, when they are babies. Because children imitate all the things and behaviors that they see when they are growing up. Yes. Finally, if I have a choice, if I have the chance, that's oh. right. If I have the chance, um, I would have, or you could say the choice. If I, if I have the choice, I would have my children younger. But before um, that, yeah. I must have a good job and have developed my relationship appropriately. Okay. Good. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. You're welcome. Okay. Is anybody else ready? 
Ismael yes. for the third one. Okay. Ismael and then uh, Maria. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, Ismael, go ahead. Oops. Something. Hold on. <laughs> Ismael, something's going on with your microphone. What? I don't know. Okay, try again. That's better. Sometimes it's just the internet connection slows or something. Okay, go ahead. Try again. Is that better now? Yes, that's better now. Okay. Uh, well, it's not the last uh, movie I I watch, but okay. I want that's to okay. talk about something. Sure. Okay. Life uh, played in Ecuador, 1999. This is one of my favorite movies. He talked about a marine engineer who works in an international oil company. He travels to Tecala, Ecuador, to make a researching about the environmental impact. Tecala is a country that has a big field of drugs and terrorism. The engineer was kidnapped while walking to the, to the office. He is taken into the jungle. The criminals were asking for a large amount of money. The oil company suggests his wife to contract some local detectives to try to solve the trouble. But they soon realized they need professional help. So they try experience people who detect that the government is involved in this kidnapping. So um, the rescue team have to take control of the situation by using charges. That's how they help the helicopters. They go into the jungle and they have to fight with their rebels. Finally, after the crossfire, the engineer was taken safety. Okay, good. Was it was it an Ecuadorian film? Well, it was played in Ecuador. It was recorded. Court in Ecuador. It was oh, it was uh, mm -hmm. okay. It was made in Ecuador. Okay, it talks. All right, yeah. it talks about an oil engineer who works in an international oil company. He travels to Tecla, Ecuador, to make uh, we say to do do some uh, research about the in environmental impact of something <laughs> of what the oil oil drilling or something. Uh, for the company. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yes, you're right. Um, the oil company's uh, drilling or something like that, maybe? Oh. Yes, okay. yes, yes, you're right. Okay. <laughs> Tecla <laughs> is a country that has big fields of drugs and terrorist, we say terrorist groups. The engineer, um, I'm just going to keep it in the present since you're telling it that way so far. Um, you're telling it like it's happening. The engineer is kidnapped uh, while walking to the office. He is taken into the jungle. The criminals um, ask for a large amount of money uh, to free him, probably. The oil company suggests, okay. uh, suggests that his wife contract local some local detectives to try to solve the uh, case we could say but they soon realize okay. the, the need for professional help so they contract experienced people who detect whoops professional has one F and two S's um, who detect that tech that the Tecala government is involved in this kidnapping. So the rescue team has has to take control of the situation by using some military strategies. That's how, comma, with, with the help of some helicopters, they go into the jungle and they have to fight with the rebels. Finally, after a big crossfire, the engineer is taken to safety. Say. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Lisa. Sounds, thank sounds you, like action, action movie. Yes. yes <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, Maria, you ready? You. Yes, uh, okay. it's uh, number number two, I think. Okay, go ahead. Um, it was a group of very bold dogs and mush mushers that mm -hmm. started off the 
Ida Road race in Anchorage, Alaska on Sunday. A 1,000 mile trip through mountain, forest, sea and river lay before the contestants and their dogs. Yeah, the dogs are also contestants, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. Mitch CV took the lead on Sunday. My dogs are doing a really good job, said Mitch CV to Breaking News. And, I'm now <laughs> and now I'm going to give them a well-deserved break. The mush mushers and their team of dogs still have a long trip ahead before they reach their the goal in Nome. <laughs> uh -huh. Good. All right. It was a group of very bold dogs and mushers that started off the Iditarod race in Anchorage, Alaska on Sunday. Um, a, I would, we just put um, a little dash there when you connect those things when you're explaining yeah. something like that 100,000 mile trip since it has to go along with the trip. So through mountains, I would just say through mountains, forest, sea, and river. Um, through mountains, let's see, they before the contestants and their dogs. Mitch TV took the lead on Sunday. My dogs are doing okay. That's all right. The mushrooms and their team, the dogs are watching. Lay yeah. ahead, perhaps lay ahead is better. That's yeah. fine. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Okay, and you had some more. Uh, yeah, I'm not quite finished with the movie. Okay. <laughs> uh, but we don't have much time, so yeah. maybe I should. You should just I, read it. I, I'll do it, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, the, the Iron Lady is a documentary movie about Britain's former and first female prime minister. The movie por portrays Margaret Thatcher's portrays. life. Yeah, portrays. <laughs> Throughout the movie, Margaret Thatcher is old and she looks back at her life. The viewer experiences her life in flashbacks. She remembers mm -hmm. the struggle in the political world, which consists of mere men. She recalls moments of enjoyment and hardships. She remember how she... Uh, I would say throughout the movie... Um, let's see, I would just say, um, let's see, during the movie, Margaret Thatcher is old and she uh, looks back at her life. In the plot, where is yeah. that? In the plot, she's old. No, I don't know. Yeah, in the movie. Well, it's more like she's told from. Yeah. Um, during the movie, Mark Let's see. Okay. We, I, we would say kind of the movie portrays Margaret Thatcher's life. Um, she. I guess I would just have to change the whole sentence. <laughs> oh, okay. just she, it, yeah, it would be more something like, you know. Um, the movie is told as you know, as a series of flashbacks. Um, okay. You know, throughout the time period or something like that. But yeah, you wanted to say something more like she's as she, you know she's telling it as um, having already lived it. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So she's remembering. Uh, she's looking back. Yeah. 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 Uh, Lisa, I finished, but, but I wasn't able to join the cast uh, till now. So. It's, it's your, if you want to correct it. Okay. Yeah. Just leave that sentence as is. I can work on it myself. Okay. Yeah. On. Okay, Mod, I'm going to um, work on yours. Okay, guys, I'm going to work on a mods, and then if anybody else wants to stick around, I'm going, I can work on it um, also. But anybody else who's done, and if you want to drop out you can the, the class is officially over so if you want to go find another one I will correct uh, what I have left here so Tan and everybody who wants to okay. to see it you can uh, stick around I will see you DJ okay, in the next class so. okay see you next time okay I will see you teacher don't find a seat I will see you again okay we'll see ya thanks you see you soon guys have a nice week bye Okay, Maud, I agree with this statement and this, in my opinion. Let's see, I agree with this statement. Mm. I would just say I agree with this statement for two reasons. Uh, for two reasons. First, raising children nowadays, so nowadays is just one word, is, um, is a hard thing for an old man or woman to do. The second is that you, your need for them as you're getting is uh, is that you need you need them the second is that yeah. you need them as you're getting older okay okay old people tend to be less patient and as you are um, and as you are getting older comma this will cause uh, the children to 
have a bad relationship with them. According to the, uh, I would say, latest research in 2010, um, angry parents are the main reason for the failure of the relationships inside the families. Being a young parent would give them the chance to be, oops, uh, thank friends you with their children. Okay, see you, Maria. Thanks. Thank Have a good day. Bye. Being a young parent would give them the chance to be friends with um, their children, especially. Okay, especially once they grow up. Uh, when when people uh, are getting old, they usually become weak, sick, and isolated. If you married early in your life, your wife will be old as well. Uh, you will need your children to look after you and their mother when you... Uh, okay, that's all. And your mother. Also, if they marry during your life and have kids and families, uh, you will have the opportunity to live with their family as well. Instead of being sick and... Instead of being a sick and old grandfather, you might be the family friend. Okay, finally, if you want to be a friend to your children with a good relationship, uh, let's see, I would say, and, and have a good relationship with them where they, uh, where they can live with you and take care of you when you become an old man, you should consider uh, this statement. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Okay. You're welcome. In my, in my opinion, having children when you are young is better. Firstly, I think uh, that as I think that as the age age gap between parent and child is shorter, there are less generational differences. I think that when the age gap between parent and child is shorter. There are less generations. This makes communication easier because of the uh, mindset. Of the mindset. They can think alike. Okay, Mon, you're done there? Okay. All right, Tan. And Alessandro. Okay, I miss a place. The place where I grew up. Uh, they grew up. It was a small town next to a river. I remember every day after school, the boys in town and I would spend time together at the river. The boys would jump in and swim, but but I uh, was not allowed to do so. I'm not mad at my mom for not allowing me to do it, even though I really want to be, um, because I know she cares for me. The river was getting populated because people were starting to throw waste in it. Um, I wouldn't say populated, I would say the river was getting pol polluted because people were starting to throw waste in it. My mom worried that I would get sick from swimming in it so I would sit on um, the rocks at the riverbank and watch the other boys playing in the water. With the joyful laugh in the background, the cool wind blowing slowly, far away um, is the bright red sun slowly setting down as, let's say, far away as the bright red sun slowly uh, set down created a beautiful picture and a feeling that I will never forget. I would sing along to add a little flair to this beautiful moment. Because the river problem was getting worse, the government had to clear out the residents living along um, alongside it. They wanted to do they wanted to do that a long time ago. They want to build a resort there, but the residents didn't want to move. Now they have got. Now they um, have. I know what you mean. Now they have gotten a good. Okay, we could do it like that. Gotten a good reason. I'm sure they're laughing their arse off. <laughs> my mom said to a lady next door that I happened to hear. I didn't understand what my mom was saying, but I do now. At age 14, I have had had to leave this beautiful whoops, place. I'm now living in the center of the city in one hour um, by motorcycle 
away from the river. Occasionally I come to visit the place. It looks beautiful now and not as beautiful as um, it, it was in my mind. The river is still there. The red sun is also there. But where is the feeling? Yep. Okay, Tan. Good. Tan, did they really make a, a resort there? Yes, they're building it. Oh, wow. Okay. Thanks. That's good. Uh, good story. Yeah. What? This late, right? Your microphone's kind of not working. I can't hear it very good. Write it in the chat. a minute. I'll be using the Verbling chat and if anybody can't see the Verbling chat uh, let me know because I can post things in the uh, Google chat as well. So this is, uh, let's see here, I'm going to put up the document and I'm going to explain how this class is going to work because it looks like we have some new people. So here we go. Everybody go to your Verbling uh, chat and click on the link. I will also put it in the Google chat. Okay. And this is how it works. Um, I'm going to put in the screen share here. And I'm going to copy and save just so we make sure. Okay, so if you want to participate in the writing class, all you have to do is write. And... I'm going to try again to let everybody participate who wants to because I know there are some um, uh, frequent verbling students who did not get into the class and so they can also write and this is how it works. Uh, you have the document here and you, everybody probably has opened it by to be interesting for you. I said write a news report about what is happening in the Iditarod race. Who is in the lead? what is the temperature like what has happened during the race so far you have to make it up this is just being creative you can make up a story about it and tell us the story number three is tell me the plot to a recent movie which you have seen so maybe you just recently saw uh, some movie that you liked and you can just tell me what it was about so that's a simple one there number four is Describe your dream job. And when in your description, tell us where would you work, what would you do, and how many hours per day would you work, etc. So all those different types of things you would explain to us. Number five is, what is your favorite time of day? Explain. Do you like to be up early in the morning? Do you like the afternoons? Do you like to stay up late at night? Okay, just tell us, what is your favorite time of day? Number six is, Tell me a story about your childhood. Choose one thing and explain what happened. So you can tell me something that happened in your childhood. All right, down here is a token. Now there's 14, 15 people opening it. You go down and you just choose a writing prompt or a question. I will go over them first. Number one says, tell a short story about this guy who is milking the cow. Who is he? Where does he live? How old is he? Why is he milking a cow? So you just tell the story. Make up a little story about that guy. If you want to work on that one, you can go ahead and get started. Hello. I'm just... Uh... All right. If you're going to get started, you start down here and you write your name. So if I'm going to get started, I am going to write my name. And then I might want to change the color. And then start uh, writing my answer right here. Okay, so make sure you put your name and then start writing. Okay, all right, so the next one is you can see this uh, picture of this guy, and they're in a what's called an Iditarod race with these, uh, with these dogs. Maybe you've heard about it, they do it up in Alaska and other places also. So it says, uh, Maria, this one might. Hi. 
Hi everybody, it's Lisa again. In this hour, we are going to be doing an English writing practice class. So if you are interested in improving your writing skills, this is a good class for you. Um, oh, there that goes again. That's always something that you need to remember, which I often forget, which is to close the verb link window when you open the Google Hangout. So when you come into the Google Hangout, it's a good idea to close your Verbling window because as you have probably figured out by now, uh, Verbling is recording all of these Google Hangouts and they're put up on the site later as recorded classes. So if you ever want to come to Verbling and you have some extra time and you want to uh, look to see if a teacher has done a specific lesson, a type of a lesson, you can go to the recorded classes section of the website and you'll be able to watch videos but in the meantime they're streaming live so right now this is live it's nine a little bit after 9 p.m. Pacific time I am in Washington State which is in the Pacific time zone and we just uh, changed today we had daylight savings time so we put our clocks ahead one hour so right now it's 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific time and so if you want to join this class all you have to do is click on the green join class button and it will be available soon the first two minutes of the class are for reservations so if you are a premium member of Verbling you can come into the class uh, and make sure that you're here before everybody else starts clicking the button so um, hi there job how are you Hello. Hi. Hello. Yes. Can you hear me? Hi. Yeah, I can yeah, hear you. I'm good. And you? Good. Yeah. So, <laughs> a bit nice to be here. Where, where are you, Jab? I, I'm from Thailand. Okay. Wonderful. Welcome to class. Yeah. We're going to be doing a writing Thank class you. this hour. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay, great. All right, so everybody's coming into class. And we're going to get started here and just